Today, we're going to discuss how to shop for a credit card. If you've never had a card or have a card that sucks, this video is for you. I'm Craig. I'm a former financial coach and jack of all trades who wants to help people learn useful life skills that aren't being taught in most schools. Subscribe to my channel and we'll work to level up our skills. Plus, I'll try to make it entertaining. Let's get started. I'm going to take you through the exact steps I use for shopping for a credit card. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you which cards I have in my wallet. Credit is scary for a lot of people. And usually things are scariest when you don't fully understand how they work. The truth is, credit can be a very useful tool. A credit card isn't going to just jump out of your wallet and rack up debt. That being said, credit cards are an easy way to spend money without noticing how much is being spent. There have been times I've been at the store, swiped my card, and I couldn't tell you how much I spent 30 seconds later. This is the danger of credit cards. It's important to be aware of this to avoid bad habits that can turn into massive debt. We do not want debt. This is the part where I have to insert a disclaimer for the people on the internet that like to wreck stuff for everyone else. I'm not a financial advisor and the information provided is for entertainment purposes only. You can see the full disclaimer in the description. When I shop for a credit card, I start by going to wallethub.com. I'm not affiliated with this site as of the time of filming, even though I wish I was. There is big money in credit card referrals. That's why sites like this exist. They make money off of people like us opening a credit card account. It is important to understand who's profiting from you opening accounts so you can see the motives behind their actions. These are the benefits I'm concerned about. If I can qualify, I want a card that offers a cashback incentive. I also want a card with a bonus incentive. That's when they gave me free cash just for opening the card. I do not want any cards that have a monthly fee or an annual fee at this point in time. The interest rate does not matter when I'm shopping for a card because I pay it off every month. I only pay interest on a card if I don't pay back the money in full that I borrowed on that card earlier in the month. So we're going to head back to Wallet Hub and shop. To start out, I'm going to wallethub.com. You'll notice on the left hand side here, it's going to ask a couple questions about me as the consumer here. So I am going to check that I'm a general consumer. It's asking what my credit is here. Wallet Hub does have a way of telling me what my credit score is, but I prefer Credit Karma. So I'm going to head over to Credit Karma real quick and log into my account there. So here in Credit Karma, we can see my scores. So I have a, I have a good score here. You'll also notice I have a suggested offer over here of a credit card as well. And now this card might be a good deal for us, but I still want to go shop. So you don't ever want to just go with whatever the one card is that's offered here. We're going to see if there's any other deals that beat this card. But just to take a look, because we are shopping, let's see if it's a good deal. So it does offer a rewards rate of 1% to 5% cash back. We are looking for rewards today. Uh, it has a welcome bonus here as well. I'm going to click on this and just see what the terms are of that. So we can earn a $200 bonus after you spend $500 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. All right, so that's a pretty good deal that's there. And there's no annual fee. Well, we don't want an annual fee. So this actually meets all the requirements that I'd like. So that's actually a decent card right there. So we'll keep that in mind when we go look at some of the other cards out there. Now, if this is your first time using Credit Karma, if I click on the scores, it's going to break them down into what the different categories are here impacting that score. The reason we have a good credit score is merely to get good rates on deals. That's it. And use that to make money. So we're going to head back over to Wallet Hub. So now that I know what my credit is, I can go ahead and click on Excellent over here. You'll notice there's some other categories over here on the left-hand toolbar. And so if I wanted to say search for a balance transfer card, I could click on that. For today, we're just looking for a basic cash back card that I can use for my basic purchases or to do like my Netflix auto credit strategy. So let's take a look at the first card here. It's from Capital One. It's a Saver One card. There's no annual fee, so that's good. We don't want a card with an annual fee. It has a rewards rate of 1% to 3% cash back. Okay, so that's decent. Anytime it has a range like this, it usually means there's some kind of rotating categories or something of that nature. So we'll check that out in the fine print in a minute. It also has a $200 rewards bonus. So that's great if we can get an extra 200 bucks. Um, as far as this stuff up here, the, the APRs with this card, we aren't really shopping for that today. So I'm not concerned about anything as far as rates 
interest rates, any of that. Because as far as it goes, we're just planning on paying this card off every month, which means the interest rate will never hit us. So I do wanna know more about this one to 3% cash back though. So we're gonna click on this show details right here and just get a little more information. As far as that bonus goes, it says earn a one-time $200 cash bonus after you spend $500 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. So that's a pretty good deal. 500 bucks within three months is pretty reasonable. We can get 3% cash back on dining at entertainment and 2% at grocery stores, 1% on all other purchases. That could be a potential good card. I tend to like cards that more just have a flat better rate than this 1% on all purchases because I don't do a lot of dining out. I cook a lot, so that's not necessarily the best card for me. If we keep going down here, we're gonna take a look at this Bank of America card. So again, zero annual fee, one to 3% cash back, $200 reward. This looking familiar yet? It's pretty, pretty similar, right? As far as, again, up here, we're not concerned about the interest rate. I'm gonna click on this for the fine print. So on this one, we have $200 online cash rewards bonus after you make at least $1,000 in purchases in the first 90 days of account opening. So now you'll note that's still a good bonus, but you have to spend twice as much as this other card that we are just looking at up here. So we can earn 3% in the category of our choice. So that's interesting. An automatic 2% at grocery stores and other big chain stores like that. Uh, and then 1% on all of the purchases. Okay, so that's a that's a decent deal as far as cash back goes. No expiration on your rewards. Okay, that's good. That's pretty much standard, but um, And if you're a preferred member, okay, anytime they have stuff like this I I don't like their preferred clubs and all this additional fine print kind of stuff that I got to read I don't want to play that game. I, I like it being simple, but that is still a good deal on that card we keep going down, we got this other Capital One card. This one's pretty much the same as the first Capital One card we saw, except instead of having any different tiered cash back categories, we just have a standard 1.5% cash back. It has that $200 reward. Same requirements as the other Capital One, basically $500 within the first three months of opening that account. So I do like this, I like that a lot actually. As we come down here, we have a City card. This one, no annual fee, no rewards, so no cash back. And you'll notice no bonus or anything either. So this is pretty much, we just get to have a credit card with them. So not, not a huge fan of that. If we keep coming down here, we have this double cash card. No annual fee on this, so that's good. 2% cash back, so that's excellent. And uh, no reward bonus though for us. I wanna know more about this double cash thing because I don't really understand that. So we're gonna click on the show details over here. Earn 2% on every purchase with unlimited 1% cash back when you buy plus an additional 1% as you pay for those purchases. I hate when they come up with these little weird things like this. I like it to be simple when we're doing cash back stuff. So that might be a good deal, but I don't wanna have to figure out the ins and outs of this offer. So I would probably pass on that one. I'm gonna keep coming down. We're gonna scroll down some more. We have this Chase card here. Now note, this is a different Chase card than the one that we saw in Credit Karma. No annual fee, 1.5 to 5% cash back. That's a pretty big range there, so we'll take a look at that. It's got a $200 bonus. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So let's click. So we have a $200 bonus after we spend $500 in purchases in your first three months of opening the account. So we've seen that a couple times with different offers. That's a good deal for us. Earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on all other purchases. Okay, so that's great. Earn 5% on travel purchase through Chase. So they have a portal where you can purchase travel tickets, that sort of thing on there, along with redeeming just for cash back as well. 3% on dining at restaurants and drugstores and 1.5% on all other purchases. No minimum to redeem for cash back. Okay, so that's great. That's actually kind of a newer thing for Chase. They didn't actually used to do that. And cash back rewards do not expire as long as you have the account open. So that is actually a really good deal right there. I, I like that freedom card right there a lot. We're gonna scroll down a little bit more. We get to this Wells Fargo card. You'll notice no annual fee, no rewards, no bonus. You just get to have a card. We're gonna stay away from that because that's just not a good deal for us. We're gonna check out Discover on here as well because that's another one of the big credit card companies. So no annual fee, one to 2% cash back, no rewards bonus. Let's check some of the fine print on that one to 2% there. Earn cash back on your next road trip, 2% cash back at gas stations and restaurants up to $1,000. 
Okay, so that's that's decent. Yeah, if you were doing a road trip and gas prices are crazy expensive right now. So uh, yeah, I could see that being okay, but with no big bonus there and with the rest of the rewards rates being at 1% flat rate, I'd rather go either go with that Chase one or the Capital One card from earlier. I'm gonna scroll over to the next page here. You'll see I got another different kind of Capital One card. This is a miles card. I'm a big fan of cash back versus miles, especially with COVID because you can't really travel right now anyways. But this is the kind of stuff that we want to avoid is this annual fee. So you'll see that's $95 just to have that card. A lot of times they'll waive that in the first year of having it, but it comes back to nab you the following year. You don't necessarily want to close the account after a year because if you're just starting and building credit, you don't want to close a card that you just used to build credit. So this is not a starter card by any means. It could be okay for frequent travelers, but that's more of an advanced strategy. So we're gonna let that one sit. Here's the Freedom Flex card that we saw actually over on Credit Karma. So we could use this link to get that card as well. The only difference is Wallet Hub is gonna get the commission on that versus Credit Karma. We have an Amex card here as well. So you'll notice zero annual fee, one to 3% cash back, $200 in rewards. So we're gonna click show details. Earn $200 back after you spend $1,000 in purchases within the first three months. So that's similar to that Bank of America offer that we saw. 3% cash back at supermarkets, 2% cash back at gas stations, 1% cash back on other purchases. Okay, so that's a decent deal, but I feel like there's some other cards that are out there that are better. Now you might be saying, well, Craig, those are all fun and good, but I don't have excellent credit yet. And if you don't have excellent credit yet, I'd recommend that you go check out my other video on building credit easily and automatically. I'm clicking on no credit or limited credit history, and I wanna show you the difference in the deals that we get on these kind of cards versus having a good credit score. So here you can see we got a Capital One card, limited history, so if we don't have any history, we could probably qualify for this one. Uh, rewards rate, so there's no rewards there and no annual fee. So if we're just getting started, uh, this might be a card that we could do. If we go down here, we have this Jasper MasterCard. I've never heard of them before, but zero annual fee, 1% cash back, $50 in rewards. Okay, let's check that out for a minute. There's a $50 sign-up bonus if you apply by March. Okay, and you get 50 bucks if you're approved for the card. Okay, well that's that's not bad. Up to 6% cash back by referring friends. Well, that's interesting. Start with 1% and get an extra 0.5% for a full year for every friend you bring on board. Hmm, I've never actually seen a deal like that. That's actually pretty interesting. I'd consider probably trying that if I were new to credit cards. If we keep coming down, we have another secured card. So if we didn't get approved for this other Capital One card, we could potentially go and apply for a secured card and a secured card is basically where we have to front money for the card. So based on the minimum deposit that we put on this card, it's gonna impact how big of a balance that they give us on this card. Based on how credit scores are calculated, you would never want to do that minimum deposit of $49 because it's just gonna give you such a tiny credit limit that it's really not gonna be worth it to you. You really want to go at least with the $99 one because that'll ensure that you at the minimum have a balance of $100 basically that you have to work with on that credit card and that gives you some room to build your credit. You could use a $100 card in my strategy to build credit automatically. With a smaller card like this at, at a balance of $49, that, that would not be feasible on that card. So you can see there's some other offers on here. As we come down, you're gonna start seeing more annual fees. See here, annual fees, and now it's, it's even bringing up monthly fees. <laughs> You'll notice when we have great credit, it doesn't even bring this up. They don't even talk about a monthly fee. So again, this is why it's so important to make sure that your credit is good because it just gives you more opportunities for making more money. In this case, we can see cards from many different lenders. It doesn't matter if I have a bank account somewhere else, I can still have a credit card with one of these other companies. I'm not loyal to any of these companies. Go with whoever benefits you the most. If they want your business, they should earn it through competitive rates and bonuses. With the options I have here, I'd probably go with this Capital One card. I'd apply for this a few weeks before I was about to make a big purchase so that I could qualify for that $200 bonus that's promoted. That's free money for me, for money I'd already be spending anyways. The key here is don't go spending money you weren't planning on spending just to get that free bonus. 
That's how credit cards get you into debt. Instead, we're going to use that money to roll into our hustle account. My hustle account is where I grow bonus money like this into bigger and bigger investments. But we'll talk more about hustle accounts in another video. So which card would you pick? Let me know which one and why in the comments below. In the next video, I'll be talking about my favorite technique for improving a credit score. It's so easy, everyone should do it.